Good morning, everyone. That is the sun rising over Hawthorne, Nevada. Those little lights off in the distance. Hawthorne. Currently on BLM, just north of that. Tameric Beach. I think that's what it's called. And there it is. And there's the fire. And... Why am I in Nevada? Yeah. Hi, how you doing? <sighs> it's a long story and a thousand miles. But let's just say I made it here. And I had to make a head over heart decision about seeing my granddaughter, my grandson, at the moment because of limited budgets and I stretched myself thing going as far as I did but it turned out good because I got some really cool supplies um, you know reconnected with my sister a lot I love her and other than that yeah moved on um, I called my son and talked to my granddaughter and told her how much I loved her and she was sign languaging back to me on the phone my son was telling me and she's so adorable that when I was hanging out the last time she was doing, I was like singing a song, I love you, Lily. It was, it was being cute. But anyway, she kept signing. She's like, I love you too. I don't know how to do it, but you know, I'm not the one apparently. But she's just learning. It's like these kids, man, their their televisions teach them how to sign language. So she, she, I heard her going, Daddy, Daddy, Daddy. I was like, oh, Lord. So yeah, so that that was a rough one. I was like, I got to go. I got, I got limited resources. I'm freezing my balls off, even in, in Nevada. But I got a fire. Thank God. And, um, yeah, so onward and upward. I figured what I'm doing is trying to go out and make some money for my granddaughter. So if I'm famous and rich, and well, I'm famous, but if I get rich, let's just focus on getting rich. And I can just turn that wealth and help her out so she doesn't have to suffer and the rest of my grandkids don't have to worry about other stuff like I did and do. But I am blessed as well. I have family that loves me. It's important, friends. But at the same time, you got to uh, no boundaries. If people don't treat you right, then fuck them. I'm sorry. I don't care who it is. Mama, daddy, sister, brother, lover, husband, wife, best friend from childhood. If they don't treat you right, kick them to the curb until they do. Until they miss you enough to realize you're a gift. To be in, you know, they're lucky to have you in their presence, right? So just... Anyway, I, what I really want to do a video about, which I loved, is boondocking, especially on BLM. In this last year, I've gotten, I'm a pro, man. And I know all these places, right? So I come hauling in last night, dark. It's like new moon, right? So it's dark as hell. I can't see, I can't, I saw a sign saying Tameric Beach, you know, quarter mile of shit. So I'm hitting the blinker, but you can't see anything, like even where the, like, the turnoff is. And I pass it for a second, I'm like, Rrr. Anyway, so I'm like rolling in here, just pat back it in, cause I, you know, I've been here, so I knew the spot I wanted. And nobody took it, so I hauled in it, you know, cool. Set up a fire last night and kicked it off. I knew I was gonna be up for a minute, cause I was driving like five five hours. Plus, I just basically drove a thousand miles, pretty much, in two days, just driving five hundred, sleeping and driving another five hundred. Good stuff. But anyway, <clears throat> traveling's fun. It's an adventure. You got that's the way you gotta look at it. I'm still going to Muscle Shoals. I'm still gonna do some riding. I'm gonna figure out that whole trucker movie thing. I'm digging that. That's just because I've. It was just one of the things that inspired me on the way. I was like, dude, these guys are awesome. It was just I love those movies, man. Watch those old trucker movies, man. There's Breaker Breaker with Chuck Norris did one. Shit, come on now. So you got Convoy, Rubber Ducky. That's Chris Kerstoverson, I think that's, yeah. Cool, cool movie. And, um, what else? Of course, you know, Smoking Bandit, which is just legendary. So, we're totally on rentals, man. Good stuff. Anyway, I love you. And God loves you, and the universe loves you, and we want you to have a wonderful day. I'm just going to chill out for a couple days, because <laughs> I was not expecting what I got hit with. Sorry. Uh, when I went to... Sacramento so, or you know the valley but like I said I got some good supplies I wouldn't you know 
talked to my sister, so that was good. I wanted to see her, but I was like, I knew I, I knew where I had to go, and I needed to get the hell out of town. So I was like, I'm sorry, I love you, sis. I'm out. I just hit 80 and hauled ass for Nevada. So, <laughs> yeah, Hawthorne's a great place to hang out. There's lots of BLM. Plus, I'm going down to Area 51. I'm not going down there, but... I'm gonna, excuse me. I'm going to go by there. Hang on a second. Let's get out of here. <coughs> My fire was going out. It's supposed to be out. Excuse me. Hi. Protection values everything, right? Let's go here. So anyway, I'm going to go down the extraterrestrial, extraterrestrial highway. That's what they call it. It goes right by Area 51. I'm going to head for the Grand Canyon and maybe go... There's a... There's a BLM called Beehive. I'm going to go check it out. It's like right on the Utah-Arizona border. So I might hit that in a couple days. I don't know. I'm going to take my time. Anyways, this place is really beautiful. Give you a little sh shout out. I don't know if you, it'll take it. It'll take it. There's some people up there on the top of the hill. There's the rest of that. My fire that's going out. Anyway. There's Hawthorne, the lights. That's kind of crooked, huh? Ooh, okay. Anyway, I love the smoking. I'm like, ugh. Hey, this is the outdoors, man. This is the wilds. And fires are important. I was freezing my ass off when I woke up. I'm like, no, I'm having a fire. And I'm just choking. Anyway, I love you. God loves you, and the universe loves you, and have a wonderful day.